Tots! I kill you! What's up guys, good evening, fine here and welcome to a card review. So, I know, um, a while back in May, I'd made a Doctor Who card review. They weren't as good as the top trumps as Arnie's. Arnie, me and Arnie worked together. Actually, no, me in the school. I was at school when they, when I made this. But we were. I worked together with the partner, not with a partner, but I worked together with myself to make some really cool top trumps of a book review, which I did a while back as well in May. On Warrior Cats. Actually, I think it was in April or something around that time. But I did a book review and it was on Warrior Cats and now I have an entire card set which I had worked so hard to do like on the computer and laminated them, cut them out into different sections, made sure they were all good enough for top trump usage and for sure they were. Literally I got I got the main character there, Fireheart, I got the most strongest card, the most weakest card. I've, m I've worked it all out to make it a really good game which you can have with your mates and things like that. I'm going to, I'm going to go through every single card to show you about this, to show you how it works. And it, trust me, it's really, really good. I wonder why. So the first card, which I, which is not really the first card which you legally have, it's Silverstream. Uh, you, as you can see, the the the, the statistics are power ninety five, loyalty seventy, speed one hundred and five, strength seventy three. Really good card right there. Literally, really does deserve its shout out. Um, Grey Strike, which is which is in the book Fireheart's Friends, who has power of 54, loyalty 70, speed 93, and strength 62. He's not a bad card. Trust me, he's not. Bracken Fur, literally you could say Broken Fur, but it's actually Bracken Fur. Um, his picture's really good. I forgot to show you their pictures. Their pictures are quite good, aren't they? Uh, power 88, loyalty 91. Speed 69, strength 53. Stonefur, who is who is a grey cat. He, she is a really, really good, cool character. Trust me. Uh, power 60, no, power 90. Loyalty 69, speed 111, strength 58. So, you can beat this card on their strength. This Tiger Claw, which is the next character, has strength 100. There are alone 58 stone fur. Or was it 68? No, 58, definitely. Yeah, so Tiger Claw. Power 150. Loyalty 25. Speed 99. Strength 100. Trust me, the lineup of characters so far. Spotterleaf, I nearly cried when she died in, in the book. She was such a nice and calm character. Let alone, sometimes she can be a bit annoying in the book. But she died in the first book of the first series. She wasn't that good. She wasn't that long-lasted character. But she was a sad, it was a sad death when you, when you found her dead. So power forty five loyalty one hundred and twenty one hundred and twenty, uh, speed fifty nine strength sixty seven. Ravenpaw definitely can be some ravens in there. Um, he is a really cool character in the book. Um, Black cat power forty seven loyalty eighty one speed one hundred and two strength sixty one. Not that bad of a character. Tallstar, the leader of another clan. A black and white cat. Power, 100, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Loyalty, 84. Speed, 66. And strength, 100, 111. Blue Star is 100, 200, 300. Where's, where's the 300? Blue Star, the leader of, an, of another clan. Power 100, loyalty 200, speed 85, strength 97. Longtail, a cartoon, a cartoonistic character, really cool character to even look at on the card, but let alone the statistics. Power 77, loyalty 59, speed 100, strength 99. 
Prince says, now this is officially the weakest card on the bunch. You, you, you'll you, never win with her. Literally, you can't win anything as that card. If you even attempt to, I don't think you're going to succeed. She's not the best card to have. Um, but you can definitely win that card off the pack with an amazing power 5, loyalty 1, speed 30, strength 8. You can't win her with anything. Mistyfoot, which is Blue Star's daughter, uh, power 110, loyalty 88, speed 95, and strength 73. So I did create these top trumps to be uh, beatable. Every single car can be beatable, but not except Princess. <laughs> um, Princess is Fireheart's sister. So Fireheart is Princess's brother, who has an amazing power 75, loyalty 150, um, speed 98, and strength 82. Barley, another weak character, but still is, uh, you still can beat him with specially good things, literally, he is beatable, and he can beat other characters with his amazing statistics of, let me just quick look, wait, can you beat him with anything? Is he even beatable? Oh yeah, you can. Right. Barley, power 63, loyalty 5, speed 89, strength 96. So you can even beat Princess with a loyalty of 5. Great. <laughs> Yellow Fang, a really epic character in the book. She literally did die in book 4 of the series 1, but he, she was a really good character to have around in through book 1, 2, 4. Power 82, loyalty 94, speed 65, and strength 91. Cinderpore, which is actually another medicine cat of the bunch, which um, is Yellowfang's apprentice. So Yellowfang is her mentor. Cinderpore. Power 72, loyalty 100, speed 55, the crazy 55. And strength 68. Now we're moving on to the most powerful card of the bunch, Broken Star. He was such an evil character, even more evil than Tiger Claw. He was he's so evil in, in the character bunch. Power 160, loyalty um, 5, speed 201, and 180 with strength. Now, we're going on to Fireheart's Apprentice. So, Fireheart is Cloudpaw's mentor. Cloudpaw doesn't have much loyalty. Yes, yes, she does have an amazing 92 loyalty. But, he is a very big-headed character in the books. Thinking he knows it all. Thinking he can do everything on his own when he's only an apprentice. So... Power 58, loyalty 92, speed 150, strength 27. He doesn't have much strength, but you think he does. He can be beaten easily by strength. But even Broken Star, even Prince, okay, he can beat Princess with strength. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be quite difficult to be beaten. So yeah, guys, how did you like my top shot? Did you, did you think that they were good? Did you think they're worth having as top trumps? I might try and reprint a copy and do a giveaway for a recopy of the top trumps, in probably in black and white, maybe in colour. I'll try and go to the photocopy and photocopy out some of the top trumps and try and make a remake of the top trumps and do a giveaway. But it won't be happening just that soon yet. But let me know if that's something you're interested in happening. And if it's not, then I will try and see what else I can do. But yeah, let me know, did you, do you think that they're, that they're good top trumps? I did make some good top trumps there. I'll be honest, you can have a really good game with them. They are they are really good to have a game on. I've had a game with a couple of people. Let me know if you want to see a game against the Gaming Ninja with those top trumps. I'll try and work on it. And if you do, let me know and I'll definitely try and make a game against the Gaming Ninja. And I'll be in.
<laughs> I'll just, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shuffle them around. Let's see how much we get. Anyway guys, if you if you like this episode, hit the like button and subscribe to the get some more. See you very bye for now. Bye. Bye At the top of the top of the top, Trumps. Boy.